So I'm testing out this Bluetooth speaker that I have, which doesn't have very good sound quality and I'm trying to figure out why. Um, and so one of the ways I can test it is by hooking it up to an online tone generator. I just Googled frequency generator and this came up. Um, and so I can play and uh, adjust frequency that comes out um, and so this is very useful for just a quick test of something like this where I can plug it in with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack um, but of course this sort of frequency generator is nothing in comparison to a like a dedicated one that can output lots of different voltage ranges this is specifically and only for audio that it already has amplifiers. So my thoughts about why this doesn't have a very deep sounding bass is, um, so I mean, 60 hertz is about the low end of what you would be hearing for bass, and you can hear it with the sound pretty high up, but as I bring this up, obviously the other frequencies are a lot higher amplitude and so the bass is getting lost in everything else and so what I think we need to do is run a filter on the audio signal to isolate the low frequencies and then amplify just the low frequencies and then add those back in. So here's the main board for this Bluetooth speaker and um, just looking at the layout of the board, I'm going to take some guesses about what do these things do. Here's where the audio comes in. That is probably a preamp that brings it up to a reasonable range because the, uh, the voltages on going through the actual wire are extremely low. Um, and so that's probably a preamp. This looks like the amplifiers for the left and the right channels. And then over here is probably the power supply. This looks like a microcontroller. Um, this is probably where the Bluetooth is. That looks like an amplifier for the microphone here. Um, there's the antenna and the clock. So um, based on what I learned from the frequency generator, these amplifiers either need to be replaced with ones that also will amplify the lower frequencies like 60 hertz or I'm going to need to splice out of this create a low frequency amplifier and then add it back into these signals.